Well, George, all square today at St Andrews, but was that the perfect game for you to come back into after a bit of a setup? Uh, well, definitely. It was, a, it was a perfect game after the result the other day for everyone. For me personally, I think after being out for quite a while, it was more of a fight today than uh, an open running game, if you want to put it that way. We knew what they were going to do and, and our game plan was to do something similar and I think we deserve to win. Disappointed about the decision at the end and, and the result, but pleased with the performance, I think, off the back of the last two. Of course. Felt like 11 men on the pitch and the subs that came out. It felt like there was real union amongst the players that things happened on Monday. The result was what it was, but we were going to come here and at least send the supporters home with a, with a solid performance. And, and you did that today, didn't you? That's what we set out to do. We, we, Mill have got that reputation, I think, under Gary this season. They've been really effective at doing doing what they do and, and look they're just outside the playoffs they're a good side and they all know what they're doing so to match them up and to fight them like we did and to at times we've got those guys up the top we've got Backer and we've got Lyle and Anel was brilliant causing so many problems we, if we do the you know fighting like men and get them the ball then we've got a real chance yeah. what did you make of the last minute penalty down here yeah, I, I wasn't sure what the, the reason for the penalty was but whether he was trying to even it up, I'm not sure. It was difficult to talk to the referee in that moment. So, look, it was more about the performance today. I know the results disappointing because we we were leading, um, but it was more about the performance today. And, and I hope the fans were able to see that because that that was the main focus. Mark Roberts, a very experienced defender like yourself, playing in that back line. But next to you once again, or in that back line once again, young Nico Gordon. And he's battled back as well this week, hasn't he? And, and put in a real performance today. Yeah, it was a big game for him. Uh, he, he did a lot of key little bits of defending that people might not pick up on. Uh, they, their front three are very dangerous. And uh, he dealt with a lot of tough and awkward situations today so really proud of him he's, he's improving all the time and and he he's been out injured a long time this season as well and he, he's come in and played a lot of games so on that side physically he's dealt brilliantly but yeah, I've only got good things to say about what Nico's done and, and he showed real character today yeah and I suppose a word on the two playmakers in the team if you can call them that Janino Bakuna and Onel Hernandez they really give those outlets don't they going forward and, and making things happen they certainly did that today yeah I mean Backer's just so strong when he gets the ball in and then Anel's the same, the little bull. He just keeps running at people, so powerful. They both did really well. As well as they did, you've got to look at what guards and, and the destroyer Ivan did in there. They're really solid in the middle, won so many second balls and that's what Millwall are good at, the second balls. And, and they matched them up in there, the two of them, and were excellent as well. And that allows our front players with Lyle as well. Lyle was good holding up the ball. It allows them to go and, and do their thing. Yeah. In terms of a, a team performance, it was exactly that. You're back in the team as well after uh, an injury setback. How, how did you find the recovery? Yeah, it's, it's tough missing games and not, not being with the lads and training, even training, missing out on that. But... I like to think I'm enthusiastic and, and try and get on with it and I'm a bit older now so I'm enjoying every single time I, I get out training but especially to, to play and hopefully people could see that enthusiasm today. Yeah. Two games left, sold out away and at Cardiff to come first for Blues. Um, important that we go into those two games and give as good an account of ourselves as, as we have done today even though technically there's, there's little to play for in terms of points in the table. Yeah, there's no relegation battle. That's something to, to celebrate because it's been tough the last few years. But there's the biggest thing, I, I think, to play for, and that's that's your personal pride and, and for those travelling fans at Cardiff and a good send-off for the season when we play Blackburn on the last day. So it, it's loads to play for those people playing for next season as well. And uh, it, it's going to be two exciting games, I hope, after we should have built up a bit of confidence after today. Thanks for your time, George. No worries. Cheers.